Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter. I wanted to quickly show you how to get rid of that invalid agent type Docker error. I'll tell you right now before I even start, you're missing some plugins. If you've run into this Jenkins Docker error, invalid agent type Docker specified must be one of any label, none. Don't worry, there's an easy fix. Just click on the Jenkins head, then head over to manage Jenkins and install the plugins that you're missing. You're missing the Docker plugin and the Docker pipeline plugin. So get over here, make sure you're on the available tab. If you're on this updates tab, nothing will show up. That always makes people nervous. You actually gotta go on the available tab, type in Docker, and then you'll see the Docker pipeline and you'll also see the basic Docker plugin. Now, one thing I do before I install these plugins, I like to go to this advanced tab and remove the S from HTTPS. Sometimes if you don't have your, your SSL keys configured properly for your virtual machine, this can run into some problems. I don't know any difficulties or issues that occur with plugin installation, so I'm not really too worried about it, but your mileage may vary. So I can install these two plugins, click install without restart, and then I'm going to rerun my job. Now, one of the things I will say is if you're running into this issue, you're also probably going to run into another permission issue. So watch, I'm gonna run this again. And as I run this job, the one error is gonna go away. So we have solved the one error, but a different error will appear. And so I'll take a look at the console output as this build job runs. And you'll notice that I no longer have that, hey, we can't find any none, whatever that was before, but I've got a new issue. So you might not have this, but I have a feeling you do. So it might be worthwhile just taking a quick look at this. Okay, I think I keep telling it to run. Okay, there we go. Got permission denied while trying to connect to the Docker daemon socket. Okay, now this is a fairly easy fix as well. Watch this, if I do a grep on the security, and, I, and notice that the other error went away. Um, you notice I've got Docker here, but it's not playing with anybody. Docker doesn't wanna play with anybody at all. So what I have to do is I have to do this uh, special sudo user mod command. So I paste this in, sudo user mod ag, and then I do the grep command again. When I do the grep command, you'll notice that, hey, now it plays with Jenkins. So that's perfect. Uh, Jenkins is now working. What's not perfect is the fact that I have to reboot in order to get this uh, to apply. So hold on a second as I just reboot and um, get this whole thing to work once again. Okay, we are now back in. I will log into Ubuntu. It may take a moment, moment for all of these services to start up, but Jenkins is configured to start up automatically, so hopefully it won't take too long to get in here and test out my workflow and my pipeline. Bring up Jenkins. Log back in, logging in might be a good sign just because that indicates that definitely my cache is cleared, but I think I got it set to log in automatically. Okay, I'll click on this drop down box and click build now. That's gonna kick off a new build. See if I can take a look at some of the console here as it runs. Click on number five, click on the console output, and you can see my errors have gone away. Now I no longer have that problem with the syntax of the pipeline. Furthermore, I don't have any problems with permissions. You can see right now it's actually pulling from Docker, it's running that Docker, it's running that Docker image. And of course, I'm running Maven version on Docker and it's saying that Apache Maven 333 is the one in use. And that's that's worth it's worth noting that on my local machine, I actually don't have Maven installed. So if I actually ask for the Maven version, that's not installed. If I ask for the Java version, I got 18275. Here it's 1891. So you can see it's actually not running on my own machine. Um, and I'll give you a quick look at the Jenkins file too, just in case you wanted to 
look at that, but it really couldn't be easier. Click on configure. And here we go. Just go and get that Docker image for Maven and then really not doing anything heavy, just printing out the Maven version. But that's enough to prove that everything works and make sure that those errors go away. And there you go. That's how easy it is to fix that invalid agent type Docker error. So if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. We got lots of great tutorials on Jenkins and Docker over there. You can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.